What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and today we are talking about Leatherwood Bespoke Double Bass Rosin. It's a new rosin on the market, and I had the chance to meet rosin maker Andrew Baker at the 2019 International Society of Bassists convention, and I got to check out this rosin. I was really intrigued. He's got five different variants, five different grades, ranging from 20% to 60% in terms of their stickiness. Andrew recently sent me this rosin to check out, and I have been having such a great time. I've taken the last week and with my bows and with my students, we've been going through and trying these different rosins. And I've got a bunch of thoughts to share with you on the topic. I'm a big fan of sticky rosin for my career. I've used Pops rosin, I've used Colstein, I've used Nyman's, Carlson, Weedoff, you name it, I've probably tried it. And I love the tackiness of the rosin. So I wasn't prepared to like the lighter rosins that are geared more towards solo playing. So I was pleasantly surprised at how well the 20% and 30% rosin seemed to work for me on my bows. Here's a video of my carbon fiber bow with the 30% percent rosin applied. <laughs> Given how much I like those sticky rosins, I was expecting to really dig the 40% and the 50% rosin, and that's the case. These are the rosins I've been using, and they are both working really well. Here's a clip of me with my main bow, my doling bow, and this is with the 50% and a little bit of the 40% applied. I think in a climate like San Francisco, the 50% rosin seems to work great for me. I think if I was back in Chicago or if I was in New York or somewhere that had a hotter summer, I would go down to the 40% rosin. And if I was playing an outdoor gig, I might even go to the 30% rosin. All of these rosins work well for orchestral playing, but for me, the 40 and the 50% seem to really just strike that sweet spot. I Call them closest to maybe weed off or pops or something like that in terms of their stickiness. The 60% rosin is intended for unwound gut strings. So I was very careful with this one. I'll show you a clip here where you can actually see how you can manipulate the rosin in the silicone container. So uh, this one, definitely if you're a Baroque player, this is going to work great. And there are some specific characteristics to each rosin, and it might not be what you'd expect as you get stickier and stickier. The 20% is best for solo and chamber music. The 30 and 40% get into light orchestral playing. With the 40 and 50%, which is what seems to work the best for me, those are for heavy orchestral playing. And then the 60% is for Baroque open gut strings. And you can see on this chart how the traction, lyrical quality, powder content, grip, and playability change as you go throughout. But I gotta say, I was expecting those lighter rosins to be much more powdery than they are. In fact, one of the things that surprised me across all of these rosins is how little residue you actually end up with on your bass and on your bow. I find myself wiping down my strings much less frequently. Not sure exactly why. Maybe it's because of what's in the rosin. That could be. But it really surprised me at how much less residue there was compared to other brands that I'm used to using. I was also surprised by how well the rosin stayed on the bow from day to day. I'm used to pulling out my bow and warming up, and within the first 10 or 15 minutes, I'm needing to put rosin on. I try not to put rosin on the first thing I do. I want to get the strings going and get the old rosin kind of warmed up, but I was pleasantly surprised with Leatherwood Bespoke, and this is true among all the gradations. I was pleasantly surprised at how it felt sticky <laughs> from the, from the get-go. So the rosin seems to hold really well from day to day and from session to session. You can read more on the website for Leatherwood Bespoke and we'll have that all linked up in the description. Andrew does describe the type of climates where this works the best in and how this rosin will last for a very long time if you're in what he calls normal playing conditions, which is not too hot, not too cold, not too dry, not too humid. I live in San Francisco, so that kind of describes San Francisco's climate. So your mileage may vary depending on where you are in the world. But I love this system. I love systems that use the same overall concept but allow you to fine-tune the 
actual variables. And that's what Leatherwood Bespoke Rosin does. Highly recommend it.